Well, hello there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. And I am John Humphrey. We're gonna watch from one of the greatest YouTube channels that have ever existed, Art Spear Entertainment. Their Tune Sandwich segment, you know, from how it should have ended, Honest Trailers and Cinema Sins. I really feel like these guys are right up there with the best of them all. Spider-Man Far From Home trailer spoof. Before we go into that, a couple of things. We're gonna film our Spider-Man Far From Home non-spoiler review. That should be up tomorrow morning. Spoiler review should be up on 4th of July or July 5th. And uh, secondly, I was on Screen Junkies News, Fandom Entertainment. Go check out that segment. It was wonderful. We talked about iconic directors for uh, quite a bit. Dan Merle, Maggie Mae Fish, and Emma Fife. It was a wonderful time. Please go check that out. And uh, yeah, anywho, let's hop on to this video. Mm. John, yeah. are you ready? I'm so ready. I'm so excited. This is how we're going to get a refresher before we film our review. Yeah. Thank you, Spider-Man! Far from us. Hey, sorry I'm late. Happy. You look nice. Thank you. New dress? Yes, it is. How'd you know? <laughs> I have a detailed inventory of all your garments and undergarments. Just part of my job. What did you say your name was? Creepy? Happy. Creepy's my brother, but he's also a big fan of yours. Activating instant kill. <laughs> Money. Everywhere I go, I see his face. Or a helmet. Iron Man. Or a helmet. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's him. It's Toasty Stark. What have we done? Toasty Stark. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stark. I don't want to go. Toasty I Stark. I am going on vacation. <laughs> Peter Parker, here to pick up a passport, a package of parcel, and a pick up, pick up peppers for pepper pots, please. Pick up for Peter Parker, 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 package, passport, parcel, and a pick up pepper pack priority. I, I love you those kinds of jokes. New dress? What do you like? Have an inventory of all my dresses? Do you get how creepy that sounds? Uh, what is that a new shirt? Because I don't recognize it from my Peter Parker evening wear database. I think MJ really likes me. She asked about my shirt. I love shirts. That's why I'm wearing two. No. <laughs> so nice to finally meet you, Spider-Man. We met at Mr. Stark's funeral. I met a lot of people that day. Is my friend gonna be okay? Oh sure. He just knocked out. Oh, thank God. If I wanted to kill him, I'd have shot him with this. Yeah. Wait a second. This one says non-lethal. Oh, oh, no. Damn. <laughs> well, looks like it's a good thing I turned up. Because it seems you're in need of a new best friend. Oh, my you God. You have a job to do. And you'll come with us. No ifs, ands, or buts. Hold on to your butts. There's got to be someone else you can use. What about Thor? Infiltrating another franchise. Captain Marvel. Over in two seconds. Hulk. I fired his ass. Captain Over in two seconds. Doctor Strange. Too weird. Iron Man. Dude. Oh, uh, yeah, he's dead. Um, Black Widow. Uh, Black Panther. No cats. Superman. Ron Stewart. Uh. The local authorities and first response teams. You know, the people who actually get paid to do this stuff. Local authorities? <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute, Peter. I just want to give him a big hug. This is Mr. Beck. Mysterio, <laughs> we're not on second aid basis yet. I create, I mean, I, I fight giant elemental monsters. <laughs> so far, we've had Earth. I'm only hitting dirt. That's the one aim for him. Water. <laughs> fire. Well, at least we know what's coming next. Heart. What? And when their powers combine. This isn't Captain <laughs> Planet, kid. The next one's gonna be wind, and it's gonna take the both of us to break it. Not a problem. I can break wind in my sleep. MJ, I... And Spider-Man. <laughs> what? That's crazy. Why, why, why would you even think that? Well, you sound exactly like him. Uh, Whatever city you're visiting, he also happens to be in town. Uh, Your aunt organizes his charity work. Uh, Your last Halloween costume was a little too convincing, especially when you wiped up that prowler. Uh, but today I'd say it's mainly the pants. Ah! It's not what you think. We did a swap. A pants swap. It's a thing guys do sometimes. You'll see. Next time you see Spider-Man, he'll be wearing my pants. You see, MJ? I told you so! Gee, I wonder where my friend Peter Parker is right now. Spider-Man! <laughs> oh no. You gotta help me, please! Uh, I'm fighting a massive molten monster. Oh, I see! 
You achieve Avenger status and now you only do the big commercial stuff. <laughs> well, just let me burn to a crisp then. Don't put yourself out trying to put me out. Don't worry, man. Mysterio puts people first. Oh man, that Mysterio is so mysterious. And I literally have no idea who he is and it's so sexy. Unbelievable. <laughs> like Doctor Strange got his head stuck in a fishbowl. He's no Spider-Man. What is it with you and cool. Spider-Man? You know it's just <laughs> Peter in a suit, right? Oh. I told you, we swapped pants! <laughs> oh god, oh, Ned is still there. I got you back. Oh great. How am I gonna explain this to them when they wake up? What do you mean, wake up? Hey MJ, check it out. I'm on the web. Just ask them to subscribe, Peter. I told you I'm not Spider-Man. Of course not. But, uh, this person I've never met before is right. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Rita and Joe would really appreciate it. They may be far from your home, but they're not far from your help. Nice work, Peter. No, I'm not Peter Benjamin Parker. Man, I'm so lucky that every single person in my grade got dusted for five years just like I did, resulting in maximum continuity. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get dusted. Billy didn't get dusted? Why is he still in our class? He got bad grades. I kept him down. Well, I guess that explains why he's two feet tall or has a full beard and three kids. Well Damn. done, guys. <laughs> Round of applause. Right into the mic. <laughs> Don't lower it, John. Don't now. Nah, blast it. Blast it. It's funny. I thought that Nick Fury sounded a little bit like I got the Sam Jackson, but like I think something about the pitch of his voice or whatever also sounded like Chris Rock to me. So it made me think of an alternate world where Chris Rock plays Nick Fury You're being instead. Racist? I am. I'm trying to be. Oh. Because what I'm trying to get to is the is the fact that I can't tell those guys apart, man. Well, it's insane. I'm glad you're being honest. Have you ever seen them both in the same room together? They have to be the same guy. Now you're racist. Oh man, I forgot how it works. No, don't worry. It's really worry. hard to be racist when I love black people too. <laughs> Is that like a benevolent reverse racism? I am just I especially favor I, one I, race. I heard of that if you pivot your videos to the alt right group, they are Oh they're yeah, they'll happy. really probably Now I've accused the alt right of being racist. <laughs> Um, that'll probably get us more hate than a racist joke. I mean, the overlap of that Venn diagram is probably something of note, but, you know, I guess uh, anything can happen, and I'm uh, sure that there's some alt-writers who uh, somehow aren't racist. No, yeah, absolutely. Who just are only about super right-wing beliefs. We have not gone on topic at all. We, all this is all because you not... made a racist comment about a white guy doing a Sam Jackson voice, John. Let's get back to... Basics. This is a really funny video. <laughs> it was a very funny video. <laughs> what I love most about what Toon Sandwich does are their silly puns. P -P Peter Parker, here to pick up a passport, a package of parcel, and a pick up pick up peppers for pepper pots, please. I like when they break into scenes, you know, like with the toast, Toasty <laughs> Stark. Jokes like that. It just seems like so dumb. Like, like it's so funny though. Know? <laughs> an incidental thing that Peter would maybe be going through <laughs> between big fights or between little moments at school. Just like, oh. Yeah. They seem to have a, a pretty deep understanding of the characters. And without spoiling anything about Far From Home, I felt like Aunt May was more of a character here than she was in the movie. I agreed. Well, I thought of That's that heavily that. during those <laughs> moments. And I love that they changed Happy's giant check to just a gigantic backstage pass. True. Uh, I thought their uh, Mysterio was really good, though, too, especially with the way he's laying in the little... I'm great at creating, I mean, fighting monsters and stuff like that. And, like, that's a joke that can be kind of rote, but the combination of that and the impression of Jake Gyllenhaal, you know? Mm -hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal doesn't have one of those voices that I'm like, oh, let me just whip out an impression. So when I hear one that's close, I'm like, oh, wow, well done. Yes. <laughs> you know? I'm not going to say what they got right and what they didn't get wrong in terms of their predictions. There are some things, though, that I 
like that Far From Home actually acknowledges that they make fun of here. Yeah, yeah, They yeah. do address it in the movie. It was like, I wonder how this would have played to us if we hadn't seen the movie already. Um, <laughs> you know? If we were still wondering right. some of those things. Yeah, exactly yeah. how it would turn out. I mean, even right down to the core of like this little bit where he, he's being torn apart by fire. Then you have this, uh, this woman in the street screaming at him. This East Coast personality yelling at him while he's in Europe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the essence of Spider-Man right there is like he's trying to fight this big old crazy guy but then you know it's the little people on the ground who are yeah unappreciative but that dilemma though of uh, no, being an avenger truly, yeah. and uh, john i'm trying to make a serious point the alt-right people not all of them are racist <laughs> That's what this video That's is. That's what this video is. That's we wanted to address a serious issue out there. Oh, God. This is awesome. <laughs> anyway, I, f I feel like we're not going to be able to execute this properly. <laughs> Art Sphere Entertainment, you guys are uh, wildly consistent with uh, your, your animation. I think your, your comedy bits are even getting t tighter. I, I feel like mm -hmm. there was a point where... They were getting a little self-indulgent. It was always, they've always been hilarious, but this, something like this seems to be one of their tightest constructed ones. Like from watching Captain Marvel, their latest mm -hmm. Endgame one, and then this one, then knocking it out of the park each and every time. Mm -hmm. And so please, guys, go check out their Patreon page. Go subscribe to their YouTube channel. I would like to give a Patreon of the Day shout out before we wrap this video up to a man named Brandon M. I, it's like I am, who apparently is Larry David. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, I didn't know he's, he's undercover. That's why. That's why he's got a pseudonym. I was uh, looking through our Patreon, and he actually just pledged today for our uh, shout out reward tier. Hey. I haven't replied to him yet. He said, uh, Hey guys, I just wanted to say that you're one of my favorite YouTube channels, and I absolutely love watching all your videos. I spent many times just binge watching your videos up till like 3 a.m. knowing Aww. I should get up early, but I can't stop watching because you're so entertaining and funny to watch. Aww. What's cool is he's part of the all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Everyone he's loves very it. supportive. All kinds of people. You're doing a great job with it all. I can't wait for all the new content coming out. Keep it up, guys. Love Brandon. Well, in terms of new content, this video is a great example of what we can bring to the table. Brandon, thanks so much, man. Uh, honestly, I, I hate knowing that I am uh, disrupting your sleep schedule. Yeah. Sleep is very important. John and I consistently get a solid nine hours Dude, every we day. Do. Yeah. We have such sterling sleep schedules. You know, it's, it's great. And I think that you would benefit benefit wonderfully from it welcome to our patreon page i i love uh, the latest season uh, that you did of curb your enthusiasm yeah, it dude. is such a good show if you ever want to come over here and sleep you know you just let us know you're more than welcome honor. to i don't know where you're from but if you're not from california fly to california crash on uh, the kitchen floor because I don't want weird people just sleeping on my couch. Dude, maybe we can make that a reward tier, though. For, like, a certain amount of money, you can just Airbnb it. Like, yeah, it's you know, five for... bucks more than the shout-out. Yeah, <laughs> $20 tier, you can come crash for the night. It's very sweet. I know what it's like to binge-watch videos uh, from other YouTubers and be up till 3 a.m. You know, people like Ben Shapiro, people like Steven Crowder, my favorites. Um, they share my point of view, and I know you share our similar Alex point of view. Jones. I hope you're still pledged. Mm -hmm. You've pledged for 12 hours. <laughs> and, and, and it's already and, returning. And they ask for a refund immediately. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, you, you gotta get those subversive ideas. Don't don't be a, a sheeple. You know? Red pillin', y'all. We're ending this. Good night. Get some sleep. Peace.